I think that there's a, a profound narcissism that has uh, sort of captured Western culture, and it's 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 a sort of combination of harnessing the energies of you know, the Enlightenment idea of the primacy of the individual. We trace all these these big ideas of Western thought, and they're they're quite a the the bulk of them have to do with uh, the power of individuals and the the rights of individuals. Uh, and you know, at this point, some might say, "Hey, the the pendulum has swung too far toward the individual. Uh, what about the rights and needs of societies and communities?" It's a relatively recent model that that has that penetrates every aspect of our society, uh, and we see this now. Um, we see the move from the Enlightenment to democracy. Uh, you know, this idea of one person, one vote, everyone is equal, uh, and and these ideas uh, get picked up and they move into, you know, psychology and psychiatry and psychotherapy. Capitalism succeeds by mass production. And then you, you, you combine that with mass communication, which works best uh, on a kind of one-to-many level. So you have one person, one celebrity, uh, one star talking to a billion people. You have this enlightenment concept of the individual, you have this romantic idea of the artist, uh, and then you have capitalism's attempts to harness those ideas uh, and make money through the technologies of mass communication. Uh, and that is putting out this message, and the message is, you're important, you have one thing to sell, that thing is your life, and we're here to buy it. Peep culture, it seems to inevitably lead to pornography. There's this incredible explosion of grassroots amateur pornography, and obviously it is directly related to peep culture. Uh, you know, it's another way to trade your private life for attention, for catharsis, for financial gain. Uh, you know, peep culture is in a way normalizing pornography, uh, having more success normalizing pornography than, you know, the so-called sexual revolution ever did.